In this brief video, I'm going to show you how you can use the privacy checkup feature on Facebook. This is a great tool to help you control who can see your information and to help you keep your account secure. Let's get started. First, you will want to navigate to Facebook.com and log into your account. Once you are logged in, you want to click on your profile icon at the top right of the screen and then select Settings and Privacy. Then from this next menu, you want to select Privacy Checkup. The Privacy Checkup is divided into different sections. The first section is Who can see what you share? Click on this to get started. Here you can review and change who can see your profile information like your phone number and your email address. You can also choose to make this information visible to the public, just for friends, or only you. Click continue to get started. Here you can review and change who can see your profile information like your phone number and email address. You can choose to make this information visible to the public, just your friends, or only you. Once you're happy with your settings, you can click next. You can also decide who gets to see your posts and stories. Select the options that best suits you and then click next. The last setting in this section reviews blocking. You can block somebody on your Facebook account and if you do that, they will no longer see things that you post on your timeline, be able to tag you in their posts, invite you to events or groups, or start a conversation with you or add you as a friend. If you block someone, they will not be notified that they have been blocked. It is likely that if this is a new Facebook account, you're not going to need to mess with this. However, it is nice to know that if somebody does become an annoyance in a future time, you can always add them to the block list here. Once you're finished with this, click Next. So now that we're all done with that section, we can click Review Another Topic. The second one we will jump into is how people can find you on Facebook. This section lets you control who can send you friend requests and who can look you up using your email address or phone number. Click Continue to review those settings. By default, everyone has the ability to send you a friend request. You can change this by clicking that icon and selecting the option that you prefer. When you're ready, click Next. So you can proceed through all of these settings and customize each one of them to your preference. Next, let's jump into how to keep your account secure. This section will help you review your password strength and enable two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication adds an extra layer of security by requiring a code sent to your phone when you log in from a new device. When you're ready, you can click Continue to set those items up. If you want to change your password, you can do it from this menu here, or you can click Next. And now let's go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication. To do that, let's click Get Started. A window pops up and says that you can only complete this action in Account Center, but it gives you a link to click on, so go ahead and click that. From this menu on the left-hand sidebar, you want to click Password and Security. Now we want to select the two-factor authentication option. Then you'll select which Facebook account you want to set this up for. You'll be prompted to re-enter your password, and then click Submit. A code will be sent to the email address that you registered your Facebook account under. Go ahead and open up your email and retrieve that code. Once you enter the code, click Continue. From here, you have three different methods you can use to set up two-factor authentication. You can download an authentication app on your cell phone, you can have a text message be sent to you, or you can utilize a security key. For most people, a text message is going to be the best method, so that's what I'm going to set up here. Click the radio button next to that option, and then click Next. Then from this menu, you'll just need to type in your phone number. Once that's complete, click Next. A text message will now be sent to your cell phone, and you'll have a code in there that you'll need to retrieve and enter in this box. Once you have the code, you can enter it here and then click Next. And now you have two-factor authentication set up anytime somebody tries to access your account, including yourself. If it's on a new device, you will receive a text message from Facebook that is verifying that you are the person that was trying to access your account. This is single-handedly the easiest and best way that you can keep your Facebook account secure. So do please take the time to set this up. Now let's jump into the Your Data Settings on Facebook option. This part lets you manage your data settings, including the information that Facebook shares with other websites and apps. Click Continue to get started. If this is a new Facebook account, as is the one that you are currently seeing on screen, you're not going to have any apps or websites that currently have access to your account. However, as you browse Facebook and you interact with different websites, you will start to see connections with those external websites. And if at any time you want to change the access that those websites have, you can always do so from this page. The last section that we need to review is your ad preferences on Facebook. 
Facebook utilizes information that they collect about you to present to you targeted advertisements. As you browse Facebook, you might see an advertisement for sports equipment, for example, if you listed sports as one of your interests. You can change what information Facebook shares with advertisers from this menu. Click continue to get started. Some advertisers try to reach certain people by using information they've provided on their profiles. From this menu, you can decide if you want advertisers to reach you based on the following profile information options. If you don't want to share any of this information with advertisers, you can simply select the radio dial to turn all of these off. Once you're ready to move on, click next. You might have noticed while browsing Facebook that a random advertisement might pop up and one of your friends will be listed as a liker of that page. You can disable this feature for yourself, which would allow you to like a page, but then other people wouldn't see this notification that you liked the page yourself. To change that setting, click this box here, and then select Only Me. Once you're happy with the setting, click Next. And that's it. You have now dialed in your preferences for what information Facebook shares with advertisers. Now that we've completed those five different sections, you have successfully used Facebook's privacy checkup feature to make sure your account is more secure. Remember though, it's a good idea to review your privacy settings regularly to make sure you're always in control of your information. For me personally, I like to go back through each one of these sections about every six months. That gives me peace of mind in knowing that my information that I elect to share on Facebook is always safe and secure. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you found this video helpful.